morning. This is Greg, the window doctor with Dallas Energy Efficient Products. Hope you're having a great day. Well, last week we talked about solar heat gain coefficient and how important that is in saving you money on your utility bills. Today, I want to talk about U-factor. That seems like an unusual term, doesn't it? But U-factor does have some importance to us because U-factor actually has to do with the ability of your windows to keep the heat in the wintertime in your house and not letting it out. So even though we may have a very good uh, winter down here, two or three months of winter, not like Fargo, North Dakota up there where they might have six or seven months, that U-factor still is an important number. Typically, a U-factor number that we should be looking for is probably around 30, which means it's keeping 70% of the heat in and letting a little bit of the heat out, okay? So U-factor is an important number. But another number is V, transmittance. That has to do with visible transmittance, that amount of light that comes into your house. Now, one of the offshoots of having high low emissivity or having windows that have a high solar heat gain coefficient is, is they're going to take on a slight tint to the windows. That might be a problem for some people, but when you compare it to putting black solar screens on your house, and I, you know, really keep making your house a lot, doctor, I don't think the, so, you know, the solar heat gain and the low emissivity and the tint in the window is going to match up to that at all. In fact, you probably after a period of time aren't going to notice it at all. But it does have a slight tint. So it tends to what? Lower the amount of visible light coming in. So that might be a factor that you want to consider. There are different kinds of glass systems. There's low E squared. And that was the glass system that had two coats of low emissivity that's been around for about 10 to 15 years. It's gonna have a higher visible light transmittance, which means it's gonna let more light in, but it's gonna give you less energy efficiency because it has a solar heat gain of about 30. The low E3 or low E cube, which is the newest, most modern technique out there in glass manufacturing where it puts three coats of low emissivity on your glass, is gonna have a slight more tint but it's going to also lower it from 30 all the way down to 20. So those might be some factors that you may want to consider. This next week, what we're going to be looking at is installation. Installation is critical in getting the full benefit of a window. So this is Greg, the Window Doctor, signing off. <laughs>